The universe is a massive unexplored place, and it's no secret that we don't know everything about it. We actually know very little about the universe, and even the things we do know we're not very certain about them. There are various events and objects in the universe that are completely unknown to us, and that remain a huge mystery. We always have some new questions to ask, some new places to explore and new things to learn. Within the universe there are inexplicable energy bursts, planets and their moons but one that researchers find interesting is Jupiter's red storm. This giant storm has been swirling for hundreds of years, and to this day we don't know the source of its distinctive red colour. Some of the scientists have been doing laboratory experiments in order to produce this same colour. Interestingly, so far the researchers have discovered that possible temperature and radiation might be playing very important roles in changing the colour of transparent materials found in the clouds. One of the main suspects is ammonium hydrosulfide, which is a type of salt. This salt seems to be quickly decomposing at specific atmospheric temperatures and conditions on our planet and this makes it really hard to investigate. For those who have never heard of this, Ammonium hydrosulfide is the third most abundant cloud component found on Jupiter. It's a part of Jupiter's atmosphere, but it does not exist as a gas. This cloud component should be considered as salt grains mixed up with other materials. Recently, NASA scientists have come forward and said that Jupiter's great red spot may not be around for much longer. As you may be aware, this giant red spot is actually a storm and so far the research shows that it's shrinking and could possibly fade away within your lifetime. NASA sent the Juno probe to Jupiter in 2017, and it was able to photograph in amazing detail the Great Red Spot. However, these photographs showed us that the storm is actually decreasing in size. Scientists were shocked by the level of detail beamed back by the spacecraft. It's believed that Jupiter's red spot has been swirling around for at least 150 years. It's estimated that it's wider than Earth, and has been swelling around since the 1600s. NASA scientists are still studying the giant storm and hope to learn more about its properties in the near future. For now though, we will have to wait for Juno to peak at the Great Red Spot in July and September of 2019 to get a better look. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.